What's going on you guys? This is MXKD. I have another Dell Optiplex 780. This is the mini tower. I'm going to be upgrades. So first you're going to do remove the side cover panel. And I'm going to go and start off from the power supply. And there will be two screw, or four screws you have to remove in the back using the Phillips screwdriver. I want to zoom out the camera. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, disconnect the 24 pin from the power. It's right there, and it's got a secure clip. You have to use uh, just use it right here in the middle. Like a secure clip, so use it right here in the middle. So you have to press on the secure clip to release the lock, and you're gonna move the four pin right here. Same thing has a for secure clip right here that you have to press on. You're gonna move the SATA power right here from the optical drive. And there'll be a secure clip there. So what you have to do is take a screwdriver and you're gonna press on right here, the clip right here in the bottom right here, in the middle, right here, and slide it to the right. And guys, I'm gonna be installing uh, the Antec VP450 watt. So here's the model, it's Antec VP450. The power supply. If you guys wanna get something better, I'll probably go with minimal. I'll probably go with the C-Sonic or Carsair. They have better power supplies you can use. But this will sure work perfectly fine because the video car I'm gonna be installing here, I really don't need a bigger power supply. So do that and just go ahead and uh, Now you're gonna install back the screws in the back. Okay, let me get this. Now I want to go ahead guys do is upgrade the memory. DDR3 9CC on buffer memory for desktop. The memory guys I like is Carcer, Kingston and Crucial. Those are top three brands. Let me install a match pair, eight gigs. That's four gig per each slot. And you're gonna install the first memory. It will be in the white slots right here. That's the dim one right here. And that's a dim two, that's a dual channel, the white slot right here. Now I'm gonna guys go, go ahead and connect the 24 pin right here. And the four pin. Now you're gonna connect back the power back to the optical drive.
right here. And you can just use a wire, cable ties, wire to do cable management. I'll do that later. And I'm gonna be upgrading the, the hard drive, guys. So to do that, you're gonna disconnect the SATA and remove the hard drive Katie right here. And I'll probably guys go at least probably two terabytes. If you guys are gonna do a lot of install a lot of pictures and videos, just go two terabytes. 3.5 inch, uh, 7,200 7, RPM. So install this like this. And install back. Connect the SATA cable. And the power. And I'm gonna show you guys the last part it will be installing a video card. And to do that, you're gonna do remove the latch right here. And you're gonna move the PCI bracket right here, the low pro uh, it's a piece of one PCI bracket. Uh, just to let you guys know the GTX 950 or the GTX 1050 Ti low profile will not fit in here because it's using two uh, two PCI slots, PCI right here slots. And it will not fit in here, so you have to use it like a low profile VD card. It's like a single slot right here. This is a EVGA GeForce GT730, and this will fit perfectly fine. And I'll show you guys uh, where's my okay, so gotta get the. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the VD card. And you're gonna put the latch back on here like this. And you're done. And so I'm gonna show you guys the other part, how to upgrade to Soul State Drive. And do that, just go ahead and uh, disconnect the cables. Now you're gonna do is remove the hard drive caddy and And what you need to do is get a, they sell this online, it's a 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch for the solid state drive, or you can install a laptop hard drive in here, perfectly fine. And it's a 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch, this caddy they sell online. And I'm and the model, it's just, what you have to do is uh, you take it like this, and you can just use any 2.5 inch solid state drive will work. So the way you install it, just go like this. And it just clips in just like that and you can install the back to 3.5 inch caddy. Just like that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and connect the SATA and power cable just like that and install it back and you're done and so guys uh, the, this is the end of the video this is for the Dell Optiplex 780 mini tower and I'm going to put this on so what you're going to do is you're going to plug in the monitor directly to your video card and you're gonna just get the latest drivers from the nvidia.com if you guys are gonna be using the same uh, video card. And put the side cover back on. I'm gonna show you guys. So this is the end of the video guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.